What's going on, everybody? Uh, this is gonna be a fun video. Of course, I you most of y'all know that I do home tours um, for homes that are for sale in the neighborhood. Where's my camera going? There it is. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to do a home tour uh, of our own house that we just bought in October um, here in the Vineyard Grove neighborhood of Lebanon. Now, I didn't clean up. It's a disaster in there, which will be fun, but you can kind of see the layout. Um, and I'll be, this will kind of preface my video that I'll be doing about um, new builds versus older homes, um, which will be fun, like the pro and con video. Um, but let's go ahead and go on in and uh, we'll see my own personal house here in Vineyard Grove. We live in a cute little cul-de-sac, which I love. I grew up in a cul-de-sac. All right, y'all. So in through the front door here. Um, this is kind of fun because we just did these this morning. You see blue tape on the walls tomorrow because we bought a new house. Um, it's under warranty and we have the painters coming by to because when we moved in, we dinged up the walls and everything. So we blue tape all over the walls where we dinged them up, which is funny. So you'll see this in the background and they're coming tomorrow to do all of our touch up paint. So that will be a thing um, that you'll see throughout the video. So, you know, it's just part of living in a new build. So you come in through the main hallway here. There's stairs that go upstairs, which we'll get to later. Um, we had these, Becky Jo's dad built these custom baby gates because we got a bear bear. All right, let's go this way into the kitchen. Follow me. So this is kind of like into the foyer. So dining room area, right? Obviously lots of bright light because it's sunny in Tennessee most of the time. Um, and that's kind of our family room TV area over there. You'll see, doo -doo 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 -doo. yep, awesome. And then this way is, that goes out to our back door, which you can see other homes back there. Um, eventually we'll be getting a fence put in, which would be nice. But otherwise, this way into our kitchen. Like I said, nothing's cleaned up, so, you know, judgment free, hopefully. Um, and then back over here, more kitchen. That goes to the garage. And then into our pantry, that's our pantry there which is nice to have lots of, we have tons of storage, which is great. Um, a little island in the middle. Now most um, Lennar homes come with this style of kitchen. Um, so kind of the shaker cabinets, you know, the uh, granite countertops, uh, island, kind of really open concept. So even if you buy a different version of this home, so uh, there's, you know, they've got five or six different types of homes in here that they've built. Um, it all kind of looks, similar to this and we've got gray flooring so downstairs also we have this way next to the kitchen we have our first bathroom on the tour let's go this way oops there we go come on back here camera so first this is a full bath which is nice uh toilet sink all the fun things that you want in a bathroom and a full bathtub combo which is awesome and also tall ceilings throughout this house, which I really like as well. And then also right across from the bathroom is the guest room. So if any of y'all come and visit, this is where you'll be staying in our nice little cute guest room. Currently where grandparents usually stay when they visit, closet, all the fun stuff that you have in a bedroom. So um, we do have one bedroom, one bath on the lower level of this house. All right. Also, there are, they're building like a ton of new homes in this neighborhood. Um, so if anybody wants to move into my neighborhood, obviously you can let me know. We love it here. It's super fun. There's, gonna, there's a, the pool and kind of community areas going in now. They're actually working on it. We drive by it every day and that's just down the street, which is great. Um, so we'll have that access this summer. We'll go back out through the garage here in a second, but let's go ahead and go back down the hallway and let's go up the stairs. I'll show you upstairs. So Becky Jo has done some painting. I think there's also a bunch of laundry everywhere, which she's gonna be upset about that I'm showing you our house with the laundry. But she just finished this awesome uh, gallery wall behind me. Hold on, not that one, this one here. It's really cute going up the stairs. Bunch of Olivia's art, some of the other stuff. So look at this, this is the kids' playroom. Hold on, yeah. So Becky Jo has painted the whole wall over there. Let's see if we can push the camera down. We've got a nice big, like, sectional that we've kind of done a creative job making out here. I see a bunch of sun, kids play stuff everywhere, laundry, I told you. There's a wall that we painted here. 
called Watermelon Pink. We're eventually going to put a big mirror on that wall as well. Hopefully y'all aren't getting sick with this camera work. I got this gimbal that I've been playing with that's kind of fun to do this with. So it kind of evens things out, but it definitely uh, is hard to get used to. All right. Um, so from this kind of, we call this the loft area, we have the hallway. And this is where all the most of the bedrooms are, right? So we've got Olivia's room down there. This is our office. This is the laundry room. Eleanor's room is over there. So we got a bunch of bedrooms that I can show you. Let's go all the way down to the end. I'll show you Olivia's room, which isn't that bad, honestly. You know, for being a 10 year old, it's not too crazy. Of course, we just kind of let her do her own thing in here. Um, decoration wise <laughs> and it's crazy but we love it um super fun obviously it's a bit of a mess she's got a nice big walk-in closet with a window in her closet so that's fun and then another bedroom over here let me turn the light in the hallway dun, dun, dun. this is eleanor's room this is just gonna look a lot like a baby's room we haven't got a lot of the art up here yet we're still i mean like once you go through the garage you'll see that we still have stuff in boxes so there's a piece of art down there that's going to go in Eleanor's room. Um, yeah, just kind of a, you know, the, the fun baby's room. Dun, 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 dun. And then the girl's bathroom upstairs here, once again, it's going to be a bit of a mess because it's a girl's bathroom. So there's some books, but it's in a full bath, which is awesome. Dual vanity in here, which we really love. I'm going to surprise Becky Jo. This will be fun for any of you that know Becky Jo. I'm just going to peek in. She's having a meeting. So we have to be quiet. She's on a meeting. This is our office. It's okay, She's muted. <laughs> She's good. So this is our office space up here. We've just kind of created a little office, but it's also another bedroom. Um, and then here's our closet, which is nice. A nice another big, you know, walk-in closet, small walk-in closet. It's got all of our office stuff in it and just more storage. Lots of storage in this house, which is great. All right, we'll leave Becky Jo. Can you wave and say hi to everybody, Becky Jo? There she is. <laughs> All right, I'll leave her go, let her go. Laundry room. Dun, 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 dun. This is kind of nice, you know, because you can see once, you know, now people we've moved in, we've done some updating here in the laundry room. Um, obviously we've got our washer and dryer side by side front loads, which goes really well in here. Um, we got a little folding table over the top. Becky Jo's done a really great job in here. It makes it really convenient to wash clothes and fold clothes and all that stuff. Also behind our panel here is our smart home um, controls and like all of our wiring for the internet throughout the whole house, which is great. It's a smart home. It's got security system already involved and then like everything is smart. So, you know, you're connected to your thermostats and your water and everything. So it makes it convenient, you know, but uh, sometimes I can imagine it being tough if the internet ever goes out. <laughs> Uh, here's our bedroom. We have not done anything. Literally, things are still in boxes here in our bedroom. We kind of focused on other parts of the house first. Our bedroom's coming up next. We're getting new furniture every day. I'm not going to show you the bed because it's unmade, but we got this new, We got this the other day, which is really pretty. Um, but basically, this is our bedroom. Our bed's on the floor currently. Um, we've put in ceiling fans in each room, which is nice. Um, and then into our master bath, which is always a hit. Um, I love this bathroom. It's so nice. So nice walk-in shower here, toilets on the other side, double vanity here. Look at that good looking guy. <laughs> Boom, double vanities, which is nice. Obviously they're messy. And then into our walk-in closet, lots of space in here. More space than I think I'll ever need, but Becky Jo, I'm sure will fill it up eventually. But lots of fun stuff in here. Just more closet space, like I said, than I'll ever use. So this is Mine from here over, and Becky Jo has everything else. <laughs> Shoes and all that fun stuff. So that is the upstairs for the most part. Let's go back down. I left that light on. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'll get it. I'll come fix it when I come back up. Attic access right here in the hallway, which makes it nice and convenient. And I'll kind of show you the, the backyard and the front yard a little bit here as well. Let's go back downstairs. Whoops. Come on back. There you are. All right, we'll go out to the garage. No, we'll go out to the backyard first. So I'll show you the backyards. The backyards are small. You know, it's one of the things that you deal with when you live in a neighborhood. Now that can be good or bad, right? Not a lot of lawn to take care of, um, which is great. Not a lot of yard to take care of, not a lot of yard to 
you know, when your kids are outside, then they're pretty close. You never have to really worry about it. So we have a nice little patio. Eventually we're gonna get a covered patio out here. Um, Smaller-ish yard. Ours is on a little bit of a slope, which is fine. You can see like the neighbors all have their fences already. So we'll just tack onto their fences when we get ours. Neighbor on this side already has their fence. So there's some privacy going on. We get a little peekaboo picture of our little pond over there, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, it's small, it's quaint. We got the barbecue grill out here. It works right now, you know? It, it makes it easy with two little kids to not have to deal with um, having to go off and mow the lawn for hours. You know, when we first moved here, we thought, oh, we're gonna move on, we're gonna live on land and, uh, you know, farm and all that fun stuff, which we eventually will. Here's our like mud room area. Let's see if I can show you this. We come into the garage, coat closet, all of our shoes are here. And then go back out to the garage. Now this is all still lots of boxes and stuff. If you follow me on uh, Live It Fighting Weight, my fitness channel, you'll notice my my home gym, right? The background of the home gym. This is funny. This is uh, the flag from the gym I had in Seattle, and the um, everyday better sign that Becky Joe made me when I first start opened my gym. And then this little eagle guy here is from my first flip in Mount Julia. We flipped a home that had this little cast iron eagle over the over one of the awnings on the rooftop and so I took it off of there and when we redid the siding it never went back on and I just kept it and I think it's cool so I put it in my garage. And that's our garage which is nice and eventually we'll get cars in there but until then you can see the uh, we got the gym is there which is nice. Our gym, our recycling our boxes, my tools. It's a nice big garage, two car garage. And both these cars will eventually go in there, which would be great. <laughs> but today they are not because we still have boxes and things in boxes and unpacking still. So, you know, you move in in October and you think, oh, we'll get everything all done super fast. And here we are still unpacking. So that was kind of the reason why I put off doing this video. Cause I was like, oh, wait till we get unpacked. I'm like, I don't know if we'll ever be unpacked. A lot of this stuff might just end up in the garbage. I don't know, um, or at Goodwill. Here's my jujitsu dummy, Jeremy. All right, y'all. So that's the tour of a Lennar home in uh, Lebanon, Tennessee. New build, like I said, we moved in October. They've got a whole bunch of more buildings going in and more homes going in in this area. Um, if you're ever interested, obviously I'm a realtor in the Lebanon area. You can go ahead and click the link below, get in touch with me, text me. Um, obviously I don't just do new builds. I also do you know, everything else here in the greater Nashville area. So I thought this might just be a fun video because I do so many home tours and I was like, I've never done one in my own house and it's not for sale. You can't have it, um, but you may come visit, especially if I know you, only if I know you. Have a great rest of your day, y'all. Talk to you later.